off camera I can't wait to dive in gentlemen this guy right here he gives it away for free every day he's following the Gary V model love it he's got an event coming up this weekend in Dallas we were talking about it it's what is it we live it's all it's called we live it's wholesale and elite live and this is the 19 division so so it's it's here um, drop a link in the comments we're gonna go to break when we get back me and this guy are gonna chop it up it's been a it's it's been a journey like this for both of us we've got a lot to share can't wait to get to know this guy. We're going to do it right here live on Propelio. We'll be right back after this. I'm inspired now yeah. because, you know. It's it took me 10 months to get a YouTube check. And the first YouTube check was 422 bucks. But it was yeah. like, okay, this is real. Right. <laughs> so, so you started out in 2017, 2016? I started in 2000 and now would be October. I got my first contract, September 28, 2016. Okay. I started in 2015, got laid off from the oil field, went and bought three houses the next week. Mm -hmm. I, I had Texas oil money laying in the bank. I just mm -hmm. went, pow! Mm -hmm. I didn't know CMA, comps, nothing. Yeah, yeah. End up owner financing my first one. Didn't know what that meant. It, it's whatever. <laughs> That's how I learned. Yeah. I went broke, came back. It's okay. It, That's what yeah. happens. I didn't document it. Now I'm sitting here sad that, you know what I mean, that at that moment in time I didn't know that if I would have shown that journey, what that would mean for the people that are trying to get started Other people. Now. Talk about that first deal. Talk about, at that moment, what the inspiration for Wholesaling House Elite was, yeah. how you locked up that first deal. Kind of tell people where you get started, because a lot of people are seeing you for the first time. Yeah. They might think you're a guru. I don't, I, I know yeah. you're not. I'm not um, yet. No, I'm not, never going to be a guru. <laughs> I don't, that's, I call myself a guru, because I actually do the business. Um, so my first deal, man, I was in a dark place uh, financially and just kind of depressed. Corporate, I lost corporate, well, I quit a corporate job to start an app. And that app bellied up bad. And I had all credit card debt. I had a bunch of stuff in it. And then I had to move to my mom's house. And at 30 years old, moving back home is not the coolest thing, right? No, no, no. So, and I have, I have my mom is, my parents are Jamaican. So it's like you're coming back home and you're a child again in some <laughs> respects, right? So it's like you don't, you don't really want to come back and be home. But I had to do what I had to do. And I had a, I had 2004 Volkswagen Jetta with, you know, everybody knows I had a bad starter in it. I had to tap the starter every time I went in it, you know, because I didn't have the 175 bucks for the starter then to pay somebody's side mechanic 100 bucks to put it in. I, I, I've been there. Been, I've, I, mine was a standard, so I was able to Fred Flintstone and start it. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, I don't, mine was a standard too, but I don't, I didn't even think about that. I should have parked on the hill or something. Yeah, just put Damn. it first <laughs> But, you know, I had a... Uh, I, w I was down, man, and, and, and a friend of mine, his dad was in, he's a real estate investor, and I went to his house, and he loves to help people, but he's not known at all. Right. And he said the word wholesaling. He said, this is how I got started, wholesaling. And I'm just in the corner, just listening, and I went home, and in three weeks, I just emerged myself into it. I don't want to just talk about real estate all the time, okay. so I'm more doing some more content about uh, just the entrepreneur side of things. I think that's important. A lot of people know me as real estate, but I, right. I do 10 failed businesses. Um, I think anybody that's successful in this business that's grown and scaling, know it's, it's less about real estate and more about the team you build. You know, I'm gonna do more stuff outside. I mean, I, I own a bull riding team in the PBR. So I own uh, like, just, just, different, like just different things, yeah. I have, two, I have two professional bull riders in the PBR. I'm a PBR agent. It, There's a lot of things that people don't don't. If we'd ask people at home who on the stage today has a professional bull riding team. Yeah, I guarantee. I, I, I guarantee. I guarantee. I've been more rodeos than a lot of people watching this. Dude, live in a, Texas. In stockyards in Fort Worth is the worst rodeo you'll ever watch. Yeah. But if you want to see somebody die on Friday night, go down there. <laughs> they have a rodeo every night. I think. One of my bull riders is ranked tenth in the world right now. That's amazing. Yeah, That's Ezekiel amazing, Mitchell. Amazing. He's from uh, Houston. Area. That's awesome. So if you have something that other people want and you're not sharing it, you're a selfish human being. I agree with that. And who cares if you get 150000 to share it? The point is, is you're sharing it and you're changing people's lives. Well, and, and you know what? I go to, I've, I've been to the entrepreneur events. I sponsored. I paid $10,000. I went to an event, okay, started my Roughneck Real Estate Group because mm -hmm. I was sharing my journey, kind of like, not as good as you would. I mean, your content's unbelievable. But I was sharing my journey, and there was one guy watching, his name's Jeremy Miller. One guy mm -hmm. watched every live stream, right? <laughs> and I got busted outside of this lady's house 
and her 13 year old daughter got off the bus and I'm on Facebook Live and she calls me because I left my phone number, just the number in the mailbox. She Googled it, takes her to my Facebook and I'm live in front of her house when her 13 year old daughter gets off the bus. I felt about this big when she was cussing me out because they were going through foreclosure, right? I was on Facebook telling Jeremy Miller, the only person that ever watched anything I did, how I was out hustling, putting this note in the mailbox and I thought they were going through divorce, right? A year later, I go to an entrepreneur event, or I went to an entrepreneur event that year. I started Roughneck to Real Estate, and then it was me and Jeremy Miller in the group, mm -hmm. right? I'm still talking to Jeremy, but now my sellers can't find me. And <laughs> a year later, Roughneck to Real Estate's 5,000 people, and I'm getting deals out mm -hmm. of it. And I'm, and I'm not only that, people are sending me messages, dude, I just closed my first deal. This I love those amazing. messages. Love those messages. I had one on just on the, on the plane here. The guy said he just made $32,000 on his I, first deal. I got tagged in a post today too. I'm not trying one up, but it was. It good. feels good it though. It feels good. It's like it's like it's like it's like when when those ten failed businesses, you didn't have anybody telling you, "Hey, man, I'm so glad you failed at this business because I learned not to." You know what I mean? You can have a bad day in in wholesaling. I, in, all all in the time? You kidding me? All the time. But then you get that message, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. Because people are watching. And if I quit today, how many people are going to quit and use me as the excuse that they quit? Brian J. Scott, what would be the first step for an absolute beginner to get started with wholesaling? For me? For you. Um, find one or two people that you enjoy listening to and their voice is not annoying. And just immerse yourself and become obsessed for about two to three weeks. That way you can just get the lingo, what people are talking about, and then really just go drive for dollars. And the reason why I say start driving for dollars is you literally... You, 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 you learn your neighborhood, one, and then you literally just get to see houses that, are, that are, don't really show up on any list. I don't, okay, Quentin, I have a solid question for the Q&A. How do y'all balance content and business? It's something I'm seriously struggling with. My real estate business is, is what keeps the content alive, but how, <laughs> how have you yourself, Max Maxwell, delegated this task? Because content is majorly important. It's I tough. mean, we all want to know, like, I mean. It's tough, I'll be honest. Um, it's tough, man. I mean, I have so I have three full-time people that just work on Max Maxwell. Right. Like three full-time humans that just work on that. Um, Dave is my point guard when it comes to that, and I literally walk in the office, I strap on a microphone, and I have a board in the morning that tells me things that I need to be available for, and I do that. And it happens. I mean, at this point, it's an autopilot. But prior to that, it was just me and J-Rock. Um, and J-Rock, I call him J-Rock because it's a funny story how I met him. But J-Rock literally came to my house every morning. We mic'd up. This is before I had an office. And he would follow me around every day. And naturally, he would just catch her. Right. I would just go about my day as if I was. Now, when we did that, I had to scrub videos to take out sensitive content. But it's a big, big process. Um, so when you're, but what I would say to people is don't, especially Quentin, get that real estate business to where it's very scalable on its own. I think Quentin has that. Yeah, yeah, but I, but I, but I see, cause I, I'm, I'm visual. I watch a lot. I don't speak right, a lot. Right. I see a lot of people now are doing this content model thing, right? right. And, and I encourage it, but get your business to where it's scalable and not only delegate things but delegate decisions because if you don't allow if you don't delegate decisions you just become the bottleneck of the decision i, I agree with that wholeheartedly which is why when somebody calls me i'm like what what do you want to do? yeah do that like if my brother my brother would say hey look i'm giving everybody off early i'm like that's it i don't i don't care right like that's like, hey, uh, we can sell it to this guy and make uh, twenty-two thousand, but this guy can close faster and he's got eighteen. I don't care. That's it. Like it's I don't <laughs> make that decision, and then if you and then if you can allow the delegation of decisions to go elsewhere, because it's not, hey, I need you to do this in the morning. It's the decision that you don't need to be a part of. Right. So we appreciate it, guys. Please check out Max's YouTube content. I I checked it out. I love it. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. Appreciate y'all's time. Thank you, guys.